Oh, we live. What's going on, people? Hello, everybody. How are you? A new episode. A new episode. In December. This might be the last of the year. Right? The last of the year. It might be. Almost, unless, it might be that one. Unless we record in church December 31st. Who is you know? recording in church? You know, because we're always in church. Who is recording in church? If pastor, pastor lets us use the recording room, things can happen. At times, you, might, you know, things may have to happen like that. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Things are getting better. Oh. Uh oh, oh. Why is he? For the Lord Where is, he? is on the throne. Uh-huh. So, what we have? Things are getting oh better. Gosh. What's happening? Things are getting One more time better. for the people in the back. Things are getting. Oh, yeah. Remix time. Remix. Ibo anti remix. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Anti oh Gladys. yeah. Anti Gladys is enough. Why wow, about Titan? Fall back, back. <laughs> Anyway, excuse me, Sister Agatha. Can you please tell <laughs> Sister down? Agatha? We thank you for your, we thank you for your, your contribution to yeah, the just, to just the service. Give your testimony. You no, don't have please. to sing more than one okay, song. Okay, let me give my testimony. Uh-huh. Tell us what happened. How your husband? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Luya. Praise uh-huh. the voice don't Lord. crack. The voice don't crack. The blessing ain't real. Mm. Just, let's just put it out there. I just want to thank the only father. That's all you want to do. Yes. That's it. All right, so that's enough. He has done oh, there's more. amazing things in my life. Won't he do it? He has He has given you victory. He has protected. Yeah, the way your voice is sounding. You, you know what you're been, sounding like right now? He has been very good to you my life. You know what you're sounding like right now? Jesus oh, has been Agatha. very good to everybody mm-hmm. in my family. Why are you no longer Nigerian? Everybody? <laughs> everybody in my family. Where are you now? You sound like a French African. Oh, when I was down, mm-hmm. he lift me up. And you were down, huh? When I was upside down, mm. he turned me upside up. Roller coaster things. I'm very thankful. Yes. Because I know six flags. He's on the throne. Oh, hey! I need everybody to give me four strong hallelujahs. Just four to praise my holy Father. Okay. Yes. Praise the Lord. I said ha, hallelujah. You get the picture. Thanks a bunch. Okay, we'll stop there. Yes. And the everybody. way the way your voice is sounding, you sound like you the real king of the R and B, bro. You know what? I think when I was oh, in the room, okay, hello. <laughs> you see, okay, hello. You see, you see how I popped up on. Nah, you sound like the what's it called? The boys to men with the bad leg. The one with the listen, girl. Do, do, the one do, in the background do, with the walking stick. I'm from do, listen. Do, I'm from the Bronx, right? Do, so when I see do, people with walking stick, I just think do, it's people do, that are ready to fight. Do, do, okay, we're doing this. <laughs> the tunes tunes by tune go for wow. it wow no, I see no, no, what no. Christmas did. tunes by wow. tune I see what you did there. we are doing it wow when they ask how I just say bow how <laughs> bow that was good that was good you saved that one you got the jokes today strictly for the Yoruba listeners welcome everyone to episode 29 of No Wahala the podcast <laughs> we are the uh, most goatish hosts with the most and we're here to bring you the toast. Malam friendly, complete goats. Wait, did you just rhyme? All the time. Oh my gosh. Is, what we're Is that fine? Today. <sighs> oh, we're here now. Time and fine. You forgot I'm half a pop artist. Oh, okay. Okay. Tell us how many streams did you have on your Spotify end of year? Let me just check my rap. Uh, check, check my rap campaign. In, in all 65 countries. <laughs> how many of them were listening? It sounds like you're an artist as well. Why do you know these things? Oh, they're there. You know, <laughs> it's all on the gram. The it's numbers are there. Go and check. The check my numbers, B. How many millions of streams did you have? In Kazakhstan alone? <laughs> yes. Man's was getting spins. That's bro. amazing. Spins. 30 billion? Pond the deserts. Oh, they bad. were playing my tunes. Let me just tell you. Tunes, pun the head tops. I'm very proud of you. You see me? I'm proud of you. You yeah. feel me, dog? Jadonna. Jadonna or Jadonna? Oh, Jadonna. Shout out to Jadonna. Shout out to Mez. Did he drop anything this year? So, that's a great question. Can I feel like that? he don't. don't. Don't think that happened. But okay, no, no, no. I just not not a knock, you know. Not like, a knock at all. Man's man's he did the acting thing. It's a fact. That? He did the acting thing. 
Um, was it? It was this year, right? I was um, one Africa in London. Facts. Right, the whole mess. Uh, yeah, it was. I was there. You would know because you were there. <laughs> I was there. Was it this, no, it was last year. It was last. Was year. it last year? Yeah, definitely was. Like, I didn't go to London this year. Huh. Yeah, time flies. Time is just flying. Time definitely flies. But shout out to Jadena, wherever man is. He definitely moves like a correct individual. He's correct. Yeah. So I bumped into him. The funny thing is I Him and his Ghanaian brother. Uh, Nana. Shout yes. Nana. Nana, Nana. Na, na. Hey. Nana, Nana, Nana. Na, na. Hey, Clarissa. Hey. Nana, Nana. One more. Okay, let's let's get back. Let's, get let's back. do it. Hey, hey, hey you thought I didn't know. Hey, hey. you forgot that I know. I also watched Nickelodeon as a children. Vibes. When I was a children, I was also watching Nick and nineties baby vibes. Right. I was a Nick something. Ah, global so goals. Be reading your Bible. Salute ah. When I was supposed to be saluting my shorts, I was saluting my books. You understand? Yeah. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Well, I was you. watching Three's Company at Nick and Nine. Ah, I'm telling your mother. Three's Company too. What were you doing do, do, watching do, do. Three's Company? Jack had two joints. Me. He did, he and they were living, living together, and they were friends. He was living with, and he had to act like he was gay. Jack was a Nigerian person. I don't he want to do Jordan. this with you. I'm a child of God. He had, I don't want to do had, this. Essentially, he had two girls in mm-hmm. the crib, and they didn't question each other. He said, look, babe. Chrissy and Janet, I think it was. Oh, rest in peace. Wow, wow. Re- I just drank water and everything just happened. Wow. Rest in peace to the actor. I think it's John Ritter. Wow. I feel like it was. But yeah, shout out to him because he was a good actor. Dustin Pat, I don't increase you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. I'm how sorry. have you been? You know what? I... Welcome back. Mans was in SA. We thank God. Watching... God's child perform on that stage? Uh, I don't even know if we are permitted to say uh, the queen's name because yeah, yeah, I don't child. have enough Let's royalties. Let's do God's child. Let's do God's child. I don't want no. to pay royalty fee because, you know. You can't afford that. No. You afford I, 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 look, in Jesus' name, I'll be able to afford it. We are it. doing over time and it's not there yet. Listen, I respect it. Man, just listen, we're on two laptops right now. I don't want the Bayhive to come for us. We're so. selling oh. darkening cream. Yes, shout out to everybody connected to Parkwood. Yes, I think we're allowed. We can say that. Oh yes, they won't charge us royalty for we, that. We can give them. We can give them we some can love. Give them because okay. they give a lot of love. They do. Yes, but shout now out to um, global citizen looked like it was popping. It you were out there. Time. Did you do at Basel? I did Basel as well. So is it basil or Basel? Basel, because basil is the one you eat. Yes. Basil is the one. I'm proud of you. You know old love. foods collection. Uh, I'm here. I'm hungry. They catch me. So you got to trust Nigerian My man. life roams around food. You know what's crazy? Uh-huh. You, are, you, are, you are proving the theory that all Nigerian men know how to cook. Is that what it is? There's a theory out there? There is a theory out there that all Nigerian men know how to cook. I feel like every Nigerian guy that goes to school in Nigeria knows how to cook. That is also a fact. Because they be trapping people's daughters with food. Wow. You know, good things though. Wow! Before Netflix and chill, people were cooking beans. Indom- indomie and, and dodo. Come on, man! I don't know though. Dodo they, and chill. Garnish, the garnish indomie. Garnish, you know? garnish with the yeah. With different scenes, <laughs> you know, some vegetables, some leftover suya from last night. Leftover. You know what I mean? Some geese dodo on top. Pond. Keys. Pondi indomie. So no, dodo. Nigerian guys would entrap women with food. You are disgusting, but you are right. But. Listen, what happens after is what can need to create or, you know, conti- like create the monster or just, you know, continue the child of God that we are. <laughs> I've never entrapped a woman with food and, you know, it led the wrong way. I never went to boarding school, so... I've no. definitely been to boarding school. I've been beaten in boarding school. I've had re fams. I went through it. I never went to boarding school in Nigeria. Uh, no, it's, if it's not Nigeria, it's not, you know, have you really been... You strike a good point. Because boarding school in Nigeria is, it's it's like it's jail adjacent. It's right <laughs> jail adjacent. Jail jail adjacent. <laughs> Shout out to what's his name, man's that says it all the time. What's his name? He's with Ebro. The uh, Jewish P- Rosenberg. Rosenberg. I could not remember his name right now. He says Adjace, that all the time. Yeah, yeah. but um, no. In Nigeria, that'd be Ajase. Okay. Ajase, yes. Yeah, I'm just yelling somebody's last That's name it. on Facebook right That's now. That's it. My name is Bankoli Ajase. I 
guarantee you we type that on Facebook right now. That's somebody's uncle. There's a dude with a picture in front of a gate. <laughs> gate man. Oh, Tell, wow. Ah, I did this. Wow. Uh, in front Niger, of my gates. Niger people, it's just, my Niger people like taking pictures in front of gates. It's a flex. I don't know. It's a subtle flex. You know what's crazy? When I go, I'm going to have to take a gate picture just because you No, you that. have to. Standard picture. You're happy. You're happy. And then make that your main picture and watch. Ah, you're right. Interaction changes. You're ah. going to get a whole lot of kindly followed back. Ulu are gates. A lot of kindly followed back. The king of the gates. Of gate. And then make sure the person that's taking the second picture from upstairs. So it's a downwards. We'll have Kemi Aditi by direct the picture photo shoot. King yeah, of next gates. To, next to the satellite dish. Yes. That's where they should take you from. What do you mean, Sky Sports? Oh. oh you thought Sky I forgot. No, no, no. I questioned you for a second. AIT. Oh. <laughs> Turn AIT. back. AIT. AIT. Now, we're doing all this. AIT. All this reminiscing because a bunch of y'all are going back home to Ninja mm. for December. So, we're just giving you the vibes. Shout out to the, the IJ. December. I just got backs. IJGB crew. Mm-hmm. Shout outs to them. Inuits. The Inuits and the what's going, what's up? The what do Americans say? The basically, people know. The basically farms. Fam. Farms. Basically farm. Yeah, farms. So, so Bao, will you do me a favor and explain what the IJGB, I just got back crew so, means? Thank you. When you go back to your motherland country, mm. you know, I'm not just going limit it, to limit it. <laughs> I said eliminate, eliminate, and yeah. then Beyonce would have collected more money from you. Us. See, you are trying to you are trying to get us flex for the uh, money. Let's go back. Let's go back. But Can yes, I, please do better. On um, just censor it. <laughs> Make it orange. They will not censor us in Make Jesus' it name. Orange it. They will not censor you in Jesus' okay, name. Amen. But I just got back. A I J G B. So this is when people get home, go back to Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Senegal, whatever it is, and then they you could just ask what time it is. They're going to be like, oh, my watch is still in my New York time because I just got back. I just got back. Have you eaten? Ah, my sleep habits are off, so I can't really eat. I don't have an appetite. Do you know why? I just got back. Be like, yo, have you called your mother? Ah, I can't because, you know, I have my American number. And do you know why I have my American number? I just got back. Ah. They'd be like, yo, are you coming out with us tonight? I don't really feel comfortable. I don't feel safe in such surroundings because I feel like they could tell I'm not from here. And do you know why they could tell I'm not from here? I just got back. And this is how they I just got back as be back in. And if not, they just use phrases from certain countries. The Brits are well known. Well known. Well, <laughs> like throughout the land to say, in it, even if he's speaking French, parlez français in it. Like, bro, it does not matter. British people will let you know they are Brits in that small little islands of theirs. Is it facts? Anything. You'd be like, yo, I, I slept all day in it. I'm like, bro, why, why, why is this a topic of conversation? Is it facts, stuffs? Fams, but this is how they are just back as, I just got back as be getting everybody to know that they got money in their pocket and make them... And two weeks later, you get a tweet that says, somebody just stole my cell phone because you're bringing attention to that. But I just got back, crew, though. We do hope you enjoy yourself as you dirty... Or, you know, participate in dirty December. <laughs> Whether it be English-speaking countries, French-speaking countries, Portuguese-speaking countries, you know, be safe, enjoy yourself. Uh, don't get banned from the country. Because we hear celebs are banning people from countries. But don't get banned from the country, though. But that's that's the whole general idea behind that. I just got back. And it's so crazy because people are talking about Canadians trying to flex in Nigeria. And I heard they're yes. not allowed to flex because they're not popping. Yeah, and uh, that's a fact. But I uh, definitely want to shout out King hash that tag for bringing up the I just got back crew video on Instagram because he got a video he did I gotta so, see that yeah he was talking about he that touched just, on the topic he touched on the topic okay so listen to his so that's a, but let, yeah you are just back just relax wear singlets wear shorts and just chill let me see don't be out here wearing Tim's and your hat backwards and dad hats all over Nigeria on top of sand like relax 
Relax. Let me see if I can pull this thing up from his from his uh, video. Relax. Like some of you have to relax. Just enjoy Nigeria. Nigeria, it's a nice spot to be in, but it's not a vacation spot. We got the video ready. This is it. I found the video. Okay, so we're gonna play Morning, the video. Guys. guys, they are around. I repeat, they are around. And by they, I mean the I just got back crew. Now, this applies to people, you know, who are just coming back from the UK, uh -huh. from the States, uh -huh. and from Canada. Canada. Yeah. Yeah, they are back and they are armed with accents. These accents will most likely affect food prices. Your babes. <laughs> your wives. Wow. I'm not talking about people who are just coming back from Belgium, Russia, Czech Republic, uh, Slovakia, Poland. Damn. Please, for those of you who are returning back from places that are non-English speaking countries, just restore factory setting with your English. Speak Nigerian English. Cold Before world. we assume that perhaps you are just mad, let's say it as it is. Everywhere is hot. <laughs> Maintain status quo. Speak English. In other news, Hamatan is here. Lick your lips. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> so that was uh, King Hash that tag. Us providing his own um, expertise. But a lot of um, local dudes' babes will be stolen off that I just got back. This is a fact. It is what it is. Dudes are coming with money in their pocket. A lot of people's babes will stop picking up your calls mm. from now until New Year. It's just what it is. Post boxing day self until after New Year. It's a fact. It's just what it is. Like if dudes are in town spending money and your babe wants to enjoy herself, let her enjoy herself. If she's been good to you all here, let her give us more vacation. That's part of the reason why I'm not sure if I'm going to go this year. I don't want to be one of those people that, Listen. you know, where those day and Listen. all the babes are, oh my so God, he's from America. Like, oh my goodness. Ladies, I'll put it like this, B. Listen, I'm team, you know I'm team ladies all the I respect and support my women. Enjoy yourself. If some man wants to dirty you, let oh him dirty you. Dirty yourself, in the wow. words of Mr. Easy. Dirty yourself. Yeah. Like, if man's got money to spend, wants to take you out, if you choose to give it up, you choose to give it up. Like, that's not the conversation here. But I'm, all, I'm, I'm here for women having yeah. ag agency over themselves get as well. Your, for sure. Get your dinner, get your lunch, get your movie ticket, get your, you know what I mean? Get your trips, get, get, a, get a nice outfit, boy, you know? Tax these, they got money. All these dudes coming, all these dudes coming from England, Canada, America. Even the countries he was serving, the exchange rate alone has them in an advantage. Is it true? It's just what it is. And as the saying goes, I'm here for a good time. Not a long time. It's very simple. So ladies at most. out there, Ninja, Ghana, SA, whatever it is, tell your boyfriend, relax. Tell man to relax, you know? Save your Christmas gift for Valentine's Day. I'm going to go have fun. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm out with my girls. Wow. And collect. Flora. Collect. Flora. Collect. And wow. Fellas, if you find yourself, I just got back, woman, collect her money too. Collect her money. Just do tour guide vibes. I will take you here. It's very expensive though. You and your girls good. Have these babies. They have money. They're not spending money here, so they must spend it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Collect all of their monies. Wow. Ladies and gents of the local streets, collect. Collect it. This is this is my two cents on the whole. I just got back. Mm. There's money to be made. If I was in Nigeria, living in Nigeria, times are such, my fate will be on point. You know, I'll be doing calf races. So where I wear my knickers. Calf. Wow. So, your, your what? My knickers. Your what? My knickers. Your what? For those who don't know, these are shorts. Your what? But it's going to be native knickers. Your so what? Native what? Tailor made. Tailor what? Tailor made Taylor knickers. Huh? You know what I mean? It's just, it's the, the edge of my knickers just going to brush. The edge right of your off, what? Of my knickers. <laughs> Shout out to your knickers. Chill, chill my knickers. Sh oh my goodness. Chill my knickers. Can you please spell it for us? Play, 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 spell it for us. It's like you're spelling sneakers, right? Wow. And you put K in front instead of S. Wow. Yes. Interesting. K-N-I-C-K-E-R-S. Okay. If I spelled it wrong, then they've changed the spelling. You say true stuff? Just like that. But no, I'd have my... Nice, you know, have the calf showing, you know, yeah, tom right. tom breads. I have tom tom. I, I peep, and then I'll just have gala in my pocket for your WCW. Wow! But unfortunately, I'm not in place to enjoy such a life. <laughs> but yes, and why is that? Because I am a child of God in mm. New York, suffering in the snow. 
Interesting. Winter is coming. Winter is definitely coming. Exactly. But yes, back to that situation. That's the, I just got back. That's how that works. It's a bunch of people in your country, if you are Nigerian or not Nigerian, just doing their thing. And then December is crazy in Lagos. They flying strippers in, you know, uh, it's well secured compared to other time in Lagos. So you're going to be relatively safe if you're not bringing too much attention to yourself. This is a fact. Yeah. So December in Lagos is a good time. Like, trust me. And there are a bunch of concerts. I know um, I've heard Burner. I've heard um, David O. I think Wiz. So it's it's a beautiful time to be in Lagos. I know um, Casanova just left Lagos. Yes, he just left? Yeah, he left uh, about two, three days ago. I saw his uh, Instagram post. Yeah, he looked like he was having the time of his life. Shout out to David O. Hanging out with David, David O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. Like, I'm happy he went. He had fun. Um, they showed on both sides of the city. Mm. Um, I saw him in the hood. I saw him in, um, she, uh, what's it called? Shooting a video. And I saw him, um, like, just chilling by the water side. So it looks like he had fun. That's dope that he went there with his girl, I think. Um, yeah. And it, look, it looked like a good time. I think if you're open-minded to certain locations and you're taking the tradition and the culture, for the most part, you're going to have fun. And he looked like he did that. Came back a couple of days ago. And I'm sure there are going to be more people ending up in Lagos now for the holidays with all the messiness going on. So... Hope you all are safe and enjoy it. All you I just got back us. Same. Um, I'm always happy when I hear that artists, especially non-African artists, are going back to the motherland and really experiencing the culture firsthand. Uh, my hope is that um, Cass had an amazing experience and the other artists that were out there had an amazing experience as well so they could come back and, um, you know, deliver their po- positive review to the world. So more... <clears throat> more people in the States that haven't had an opportunity to travel to the motherland will be inspired to go. That's really my whole thing. What I also hope is that countries like Nigeria and Ghana make it easier for yes, Americans I'm I'm so sorry. to get to Africa. African countries as a whole, y'all gotta figure this shit out. Because South like, Africa is very easy from the United States to no, go to South Africa. Like, you know how people like, I'm backpacking through Europe. Yeah. I can't like, backpack through Nigeria. Sometimes you got to do so much to like make it through these countries. Like people can't hop and just enjoy themselves. The country is so rich, like by itself. There's so much culture in one country to just grasp and take. So imagine if you're able to like put two weeks, three weeks out there, put two, three weeks out there, and just like have fun and just go through different countries and you know different cultures and just figure the shit out. So I don't know who it is. I don't know who's in control. I don't know who's... Somebody has to figure that shit out. It's Where people can change. You know, just get a... If it's one visa you want to give people through the west or the east, north... Well, I'm not doing shit in the north. But <laughs> west, east, or the yeah, south. I'm going to Boko? And yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, sure? I'm too black and tall to be out here having fun with North Africans. You're not going to Haram? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay. No. Just checking. Not I. You have the beard, so I want to make sure that. Wow. No, I just want to make sure you have not joined gang. Wow. I, I wanted do to you, make sure do you, you guys didn't join this? gang. Wow. Call all me my, a gang member. All my own boys have joined gang. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everybody there has joined gang. I'm. A growing big beard. Wow. Carry short hair. Wow. Wearing red jacket. Mm. Bad gang. Wow. The whole outfit. The whole team. Nah, but yeah, yeah, for real, people, please have fun. Be safe. Yeah. Shout out to Casanova, of course. That did a stand out there and, you know. Happy holidays. Because in him sharing it, others get to also see firsthand and also hear his story. So it was dope. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I definitely something. bother Cass when I see him and ask him about Nah, him. Give, if I ever run into Mans in New York, I'm hailing him. Hailing him. Two hands in the air. Hail. <laughs> Ah, uh, bad guy, Oluwa Kass. Is that you? Oluwa Kass, we uh, held uh, Is that you from Lagos? We held deep. Look uh, at you. Uh, is that a... Shine your eye. Is that, that a feel on your head? You know what? Wow. If I see Kass, straight wow. up. Niger style. Anything for the boys. Oh my God. Man's got to, man's got to bless us. Shout yo, out to Kass and over. In people. fact, when I see Kass, that's how I'm going to pull up on I'm like, yo, Kass, uh-uh. anything for the boys? Uh-uh. Anything for the boys. Anything, anything. And if he looks at me like he wants to smack me in the mouth, I I will know. And we know he was lying. That he was he, he was harassed in Nigeria. <laughs> we will know. Uh, he had to bless. 
he had to bless um, immigration before he left. I'm oh, pretty yeah, sure. I'm sure of that too. I mean, but he was with he was with David, so I mean, I'm but sure. At some point, David can't cross that line anymore now in the airport. In the airport? Yeah. After a while, if you're not flying, they'll say, "Okay, this." No, is no, 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 no. I will bet that they give him assurance. This is true. They give the video assurance. Uh-huh. How long? If I tell you, oh. say I'm Nigerian. Lyrics. You swear you had 97 plus. My entry, my five. visa, nah, no problem, baby. But the amount of me weeks is we're getting one episode. Hmm. No Since bribery for my side, yo. Wow. Versace and Gucci for your daughter, oh, baby. No do all. No do, no do. Uh-huh. No do bribery for me. And the voice has cracked. Wow. Back to King of Iron no B. So sh- yeah, why are you? Ah. No, no. Oh, by the way, this whole King of Iron B then. Oh my goodness! I'm happy you brought it up. Yeah, like because I don't know. I figured that's why you were singing. You're trying to put your name in the hat. I mean, my name what? What? I Did don't you, know. You didn't see my name on the timeline. Oh, for King of No, I did. I did not. Do, do you have? Do you have? Do you have me muted? Which timeline? You didn't see me on the Twitter yeah. timeline. You didn't see yeah, King of R&B. You didn't see them talking well, about tune. No, I did not. I did not. Wow. Talk. Nobody said. Oh your name. my God! Somebody said your name. Say my name, say my name. Oh, oh my gosh. So, yes. They mentioned Toon, but they were not talking about me. No, it's no, it's, there are Toons there, people like, but yes, I don't. They were talking about uh, Toon, but not me. Yes. I understand. Actual. Yes. Well, yeah. Who who gets your vote for King of R&B? To be honest with you, when there are people like Tevin Campbell mm-hmm. and Raphael Sadiq uh-huh. and Casey and JoJo uh-huh. and I'll Be Sure uh-huh. and John B. Uh-huh. And uh, Usher, Ur, Ur, Usher, 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 Mm-hmm. At what time? Meet me at midnight because I'm on African time. Oh wow! Okay, this is this is becoming a crime. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shout out to Noto Mari, famous uh, part. What's it called? <laughs> so unfortunately, my vote for King of R and B. Unfortunately, to that, goes to that unfortunate individual. I'm sorry. I will not endorse it. He's the King of R and B. I to refuse. Horrible to human it. being. No. Horrible human being. Nope. All day, every day. I refuse. But he, my his catalog, my contrast is telling me no. But the numbers, the numbers, the numbers will say. But this goat is <laughs> telling me yes. It is what it is. I'm. I'm not for real. I don't wanna. I don't wanna like hurt nobody's feelings. <laughs> you have hurt my own. <laughs> but. That's yes, my, something that's my you're confessing. R&B. No, he is. You don't see nothing like wrong. His catalog is brazy. With a little problematic. Fam, you, you don't see nothing wrong. Do you see the vibe you're creating just singing his song? I'm trying to call you out. But you are creating. You don't see vibe. nothing wrong. So Listen. you are going to just talk about him, but nobody knows who you are talking about. We know everybody. With everybody knows who we are talking about. Listen, listen. You don't see nothing wrong. So what do you do? <laughs> when the DJ plays your favorite song, I block <laughs> for why? Cause he's a creep. Fams. What do you do when your podcast partner is very rude? What do you do? You become unhappy people. Wow. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. No. No. God then, forbid. By when team. We say John Legend. John Legend is great. Uh, but King of R&B though John Legend I would put him over Tank I would put him over I would put him over Okay I put, put him over Tank More hits For sure Yeah I mean Bruno Mars has hits too But he's not Is, is, is Bruno Mars kind of as R&B R&B He's pop R&B he's, Yeah he's not He's not R&B He's pop R&B, R&B. He's, Yeah I remember Filipino dudes be having the no, they be having, the, they be having the chocolate just, You know what I'm saying The chocolate vibe. upbringing When it comes to music So like you can Bruno sing counts. But it's just that hurt It's that pain James Fauneroy Okay, now we're going back. You know... Uh, and you know who's going to have a dope-ass catalog when they're done? Daniel um, Caesar. You, you will live long. That's exactly who I was thinking. And I was not going to get that man. I just want to see you. That man sings like they're you, breaking his hearts yeah. every month. Leon Bridges. They're breaking that man's hearts every month. Daniel, shout-outs to Daniel. Shout-outs to Anthony. 
Oh, what about the British guy that sang about the seven days of the week? Uh, oh, hmm. the chocolate father himself. Tanya. Uncle Tyrese. Oh, there's that. And there's Maxwell. Oh, Maxwell's great. And then there's the... There's, um, oh, nobody says man's name. D'Angelo? Yeah, I thought about D'Angelo as well. Um, soul Child. Music Soul Child. Uh, music... Music story. That's R and B. You know who? Honestly, if we're talking about okay, so the problem with this this conversation, somebody needs to make a bracket. And that's exactly what I was going to say. The problem is you have too many iconic R and B vocalists from right. different eras. Each no, era had their own legends. Well, it, how many eras is that? Because all these names are in the last twenty years. Because you're right, but at the same time, where's the dream? The dream, but that's what I'm saying. Because All these people fall within the last 20 years. Correct. It's Out just of- that sonically, you know, we're expecting different things, and content wise, it goes from begging for coochie to being like, come, come to me. Like the flex is different. If in the most recent uh, generation of vocalists, the most recent class, I would say Daniel Caesar is my top. In may, the recent, may, uh, over, recent uh, most recent class. Oh, right now, I would say I in the last in the last few years. It doesn't have enough for me. I agree, but if we go a class before that, then I would say James Fonroy. I see. Who if recently? we go a class before that? So Chris is out the picture. If we go a class before that, he's before that. I'd give them Chris. Okay. If we go a class before that, uh, so where does your boy dream. Bryson is Bryson R and B? Bryson is not in my in not R and B or just not I, I would say he's he's definitely R and B because I like, guess trap soul whatever. Right, but. Right. As far as personal taste, he's like not he's not there for me. No. Um, who else is a recent, recent, recent singer? So if we go be- before the dream, uh, I would say that class would include the Tanks, the Genuines, the John Legends, you know, those guys. Okay. Because uh, we can go all the way as far back as Prince. We can, well, go, all the- we can go even further than that and talk about uh, Stevie Wonder. Well, nah, that's what I'm saying in the last you know 20 what I'm saying? years. In the like, last 20 years, because it's just like that pool of R&B has was all like... All I do oh okay. is think about food. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Joel of, Joel of, all wow. I do is think about food. I'm, I'm hungry, hungry, boom, 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 boom. Hungry Epo remix. I'd like to apologize to everybody for all the Mirixes. The Mirix, sorry. The Mirix I need your love. Uh-huh. I need your uh-huh. love. I need your la 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 la. I need your love. I need your love. I need your la 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 la. That would never get old. Never. That will never get old. Never. We there's actually, so many. There's so many things that your love and your love could just be switched for. That there's just always going to be your love that could be remixed and Mirixed. Mixed into songs, You're but right. yeah, it's hard to define. I feel like there's just so many in the King of R and B, and obviously somebody has to hold the crown. And I am sorry, <laughs> but that shady, disrespectful should be in jail of a gentleman. Oh my goodness, is the King of R and B? Is just what it is. The words and opinions of one. It's co-host just exactly what do it not is. Reflect like man, all of the opinions man, the of this ch- podcast. Like, what? We want to offer it's a not him. Who? to all of our listeners. Who? Who? All of the problematic who? thoughts who? delivered by Who would you give it to? Like for real. Bauer. Please. Tweet me, Instagram Will me. Not be Who do you say? Collective. We're talking hits. <laughs> We're talking albums. Other than Usher, like who? I think we have to put the PSA in there because I. Because it's okay, Usher than so Chris. Here's, here's, here's it's how I Usher feel. than Chris. To talent, me. talent wise, can't deny it. Absolutely. Oh, we're still talking. We're talking about him. Correct. Oh, okay. talent wise, absolutely agree with you. Okay. But all the problematic stuff that is engulfed his legacy. I cannot endorse it. No, listen. You don't have to endorse it. But listen. if we're saying, if you're if you're acknowledging his talent, the same thing with Young Tapahannock. I can't give him any, you know, all the accolades that he'd be deserving of had he not been embroiled in his own personal nonsense. Like the man is one of the most talented artists of our generation, but because of what he did 
and that unfortunate incident that he's that he was a part of. Which incident? Where he abused his girlfriend at the time. Who? Wait, who is it? Young Tappahannock. Really? Yeah. Oh. Ew. You forgot that. Ugh. It was a long time ago, 10 years. Right after. But that's what I'm saying, right? Like, if we're talking music, mm-hmm. and nobody said Trey songs, right? Uh, and nobody said T Pain. Yo, side. Nobody My said T Pain, right? Of the bird. Oh, bird. Your man said he invented sex, and they, they, everyone let him rock. Mm-hmm. Like, that has to count for something. Mm-hmm. Is it me, or, or has he gotten corny with Tom? Like, I not to don't me. even check for his music. Right, anymore. I feel like there's a reason, right? Because he dropped something recently. He I, dropped two. I don't have a dog. Eleven this and twenty nine, and then nobody talks about it. I think that he just dropped a record. He just dropped uh, two, two words. Yeah, I didn't check for it. No, that's what I'm saying. Something has happened to T. Uh, to uh, to Bank. Wow. See, you, even, you don't even know his name. That's, no, that's, that's what's what happening. I'm people saying. are like, wow. And I brought up his name. Um, but something has happened in which people feel like he's not as cool anymore. I think people. I don't. I don't know. I just don't think like I can't take away from the fact that he has hits. Neither of us can. No. But and the ladies love him. Absolutely. And he makes music for the women's. But somehow, some way, he's just gotten into the corny. And I wish my cholo didn't come from Ghana. Cause it's drier and I'd like my cholo wet. Again, these opinions and thoughts. Not I. I love me my Ghanaian people. <laughs> love my Ghanaian people. I might even go to a Ghanaian spot on my way home. Wow. Yeah. Chale, you know what? Chale when the make? wachi comes upon you. Uh-huh. When the uh-huh. when the watch is upon my plate, I hey. will dance. <laughs> When the <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. when no, the no, watchy wishy no, talk no, no. is upon my plate, will I will chop like Bawo chopped. Pause. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. When I, I look that. upon my left. All right, so now I guess Usher, <laughs> Usher gets. But then Usher was has been accused of passing STDs in different colors, which <laughs> like he had different colorways. Can we like does, does he then fall off too? Oh, she got the hype piece. He, he, he had got the hype piece. joints for different people's he children. Got the, he got the. He got the. Because I've heard men and women. If it, well, he had the cloud diseases. Shout out to Atlanta, but I've heard men and women have accused them of pests and stuff. <sighs> Again, I don't believe shit that I'm not a part of as much. Oh, God. But certain things we gotta be like, ah, right, yo, you're wilding. Oh my God. So does that mean we take top three? Oh my God. Should same, we have never same, said his same, name too? The, the, not, I mean, the, the same thing could be said about. Uh, the other artists that are problematic that we've mentioned as well they all have accusations no but man's man's is when you apologize man just has weaker man just has weaker PR when you no no he does man just has weaker PR no no he, no, he doesn't have weak, he does not listen facts well does, none of them listen he doesn't they, they listen. still keep doing problematic stuff oh, no, they're just yeah, protecting yeah. well I think Usher listens Ur, I'm sorry Ursher Ursher yeah uh, put some yeah. respect on his name Sometimes Haitian men, man, they be doing some things. Or sure, baby. Uh-huh. I want him to speak with Haitian accents so bad. I forgot he's Haitian. I will never forget that. Yo, he never, has he ever embraced his uh, ethnicity? Him his, and um, what's the they're both Haitian, right? Him and Future. Uh, and they both be wilding in the streets. I know you're right about it. But none of them wear them church shoes They don't wear like them church shoes, I know. Yeah. But anyway, I, so that means we got to take Ur. I know, I know that. We got to be... take Ur. Yeah. I know you, you so if we take Asian. those three men out and we're like, let's just get us an R&B singer that gives us hits, not problematic, not out here trying to give people limited edition diseases. <laughs> Supreme. <laughs> Bupu, the kith, 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 kith illnesses. We're not gonna make. We're not. No, no STD jokes. We get the kith vaccinations. Wow. Wow. They had an app. An app for the bathing uh, the bathing ape. Bathing ape. Bathing safe. Yo. Wow. The H I E Z. I got the limited edition. Listen, listen. S T E Z are not gonna be discussed. S T 
Um, but Jesus. no, no, no. Um, you are out of pocket. No, I'm done. I'm done. I apologize. <laughs> I'm, I'm ashamed of everything that happened in the last two minutes. You are disgusting. But I'll I'll live with it. I'm telling you, you know. That. Um, that's yo. You know who cannot apologize? Well, Kevin Hart. But no, before we get to that topic, so if we take those three men out, we're talking about living, because you know somebody gonna say you didn't say Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. But if if you take those three men out, who gets it? Are we giving it to? Who are we giving it to? Problematic. Apologies. Dream? We gonna give it to Dream? Dream has a lot of hits. I'm Dream is to, written. I'm gonna give it to the Dream only because nobody has written made. for a lot of people, the Queen included. Until anybody can make, can write, and produce a better record than Fancy, then he gets it for you. Um, I think it's the Dream. If we take those three people out. I'm trying to think. I'm really trying to think. But the dream is nice with it. He took time off. He's writing. He's doing his thing. It's a fact. So I think, I, I guess it's the dream. But he just never worked out. I think. He's not a fit man, right? He's not fit. I don't think it's so even So he's about not like a ladies, a of... not like ladies are sweating and losing their minds over him. <sighs> Mr. Nash has made a lot of hits. No, we're not questioning that at all. He has. But is he the king of R and B? Didn't he have one of his album called King or something like that? Uh, couldn't tell you. But I think I do know love, love. There's love king, love king. Okay, okay. I think that's there what was it love is. hate, which is where we had. Shorty is she? Uh huh. She. Uh huh. Shorty is she? Uh huh. All right. Oh right. yeah. Here we go. Here we go. The dream versus John Legend. Uh, that's tough. They make different types of R and B for me. Okay, the dream versus like T Pain. The dream is way more passionate. The dream versus T Pain. The dream. Okay. T again, but they make no, no. Just asking. They, they make different R and B. Because I like to you. It's I like to you. T Pain, but T Pain's not the king of R and B. To you. T Pain's not. I, I no, I'm not saying he is. I'm not. I'm just you know we have to say to you because somebody's gonna feel otherwise. T Pain's a great singer, even without auto tune. Great music maker. But he's is a, what it he's is. He's a more of a pop artist to me than R and B. Got you. Got you. No, no. So you feel like if you delve into his work, it's just not... What is T-Pain's biggest R&B record? Buy you a drink? No. Got me doing the dishes. I need one for sprung. some kisses. I'm sprung. I, I really like that song. I agree. It's a great song. Do you like that more than what you said? Fancy? No, no. The other T-Pain song you just said. Uh, Buy you a drink? Yeah. Oh. I like Bayou Drink more than I'm Sprung. I like T again. T Pain has hits, and Bayou I love. Bayou Drink had all... no features in it. Bayou it Drink did, right? Him. Oh, I think Jesus yeah. was in it. You know what's the name of that guy that had the Young coffee Jack. shop? Young, Young Jack. Jack. Yeah, I know it was one of them. I always used to see. That's that's another. Uh, yeah, they came out around the same, time, the same time with Diddy. And were were they that? in a group together? Yeah, no. Young Jizzy had the group and the individual, but I don't think Young Jack was in that group of his. What was Young Jesus' group name again? Them, it was some dry name. I can't remember this shit. But Jeezy was he was making hits as an individual and as a group. And the group was signed to Bad Boy. Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood? Them boys on the hood. Very dry. You're right. Very boys, dry. Boys, and then he broke out and did his own thing. Them boys, right? Them boys, correct. Yep. Very dry name. Boys in the hood. And then what? And First, then I'm going to eat your love. Then what? Then I'm going to eat some more. And then, then, then I'm going to my auntie's. No, then Ooh. I'm going to soak the plates in the sink. Wow. And tell my mama I'm waiting for it to get soft. That's not what he That's said. That's how you know you don't wash the wow. plates. You just soak it in the sink. Guy, you had the perfect opportunity to Say write the Auntie house? Yeah, no, 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 you had the perfect You have to speak to the African kids. Guy, the African kids don't could have struggle. said, put the place in the sink. Uh -huh. I opened the fridge for the ginger drink. Wow, I like that. You see, Sobo you drink. Sobo, Sobo. Sobo. sorry. Sobo I'm apologizing. For the culture. I'm sorry. But now, so we're saying the king of R&B, if we take away the problematics, is the dream. I'll give it to the dream. I think I think it's tough. I'm not mad at it. Man. I'm not mad at it. Not at all. And I really don't want anybody's uncle that does coke and no longer sings anymore to come for us. Because 
That man too, that's another person that's problematic. Agreed. OG, OG singer that does coke. <clears throat> you know who I'm talking about, right? What everybody's talking. If it is a lie, yeah. why do I feel yeah, him this too. way? He's problematic, why right? Do, he would fall. do we agree he's problematic? My mind. Oh, gosh. Okay. If it is a lie, uh-huh. why do uh-huh. uh-huh. No remix. No lyrics. If it is your love. Wow. Yo, yo. How what didn't you, how didn't you, yo, we got to make a your love. If it is your love, why does it feel so This is Ghana, so this is Ghana your love this, by the way. Why is it my eye? Why is there salad inside? inside? Wow. If it is your love, uh-huh. why is there shrimp in place? Uh-huh. Why does it have bars? Just in- call it. Wow. Fried rice. <laughs> Anyway, I these this everything here. I want y'all to know too. They made me read a script. It was spicy, but not the type. Hey, I used to. that was right. That was right. I just want uh-huh. it in the rice. Hey, yo, we need to make a jollof. We might have to do a mixtape. No, no, like eight songs. It's no Wahala boys. Songs. No seven. Yeah. No, no. Then go. They gonna think we signed to good no music. Boys. Eight, eight songs. NWB. Yeah, that would be, be great. NWB. If like we get the NWB logo love. and just put a B over it. <laughs> Why does it taste this way? Uh-huh. Why is there no spice hey. inside? Hey, 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 hey. If it is your love, okay. why is it not that red? Wow. We should just call it fried rice. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we're <laughs> green. The dream. The dream, definitely. Because if not, it would have been Bobby Brown. But Bobby Brown is definitely... No, uh, no, 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 no. Bobby did too much. Facts. Too much. Is Literally. That's way better. Shout out to him, though, because man does not question the skills. This is a fact. But was, did he write his songs? Uh, I want to say he did. Okay. I don't know. We got to do that. Right. Anyway, the that? dream. Boom. The dream. King of R&B without any issues. We just need man to hit the gym. Just, you know, give give the women them all the, the whole package. She rocking that thing. Like, boom. <laughs> yes. No, he can go to the gym and, you know, work some fact. weights too. It's facts. And shout out to him. But we got to talk about the apology by your man, Kevin Hart. Yeah. Because first, can I just say this to everybody? If you're ever going to apologize to your woman, stay away from the phrase, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect is definitely the go-to. It's the go- so, I, It blows my mind. I'm human. I'm not perfect. No, but I get it though. That's not breaking news, fams. We it's know. not. Jesus created us in his like, image. Yo, yeah, I was effing, not him. I was effing joints. That's what I was doing. Jesus. I didn't want to. Wow. That's what I was. Well, I wanted to. Is, is that what you were doing? I feel bad. Is that what but you were doing? Come here talking to me about wow. no. I'm not perfect. Wow. You have to be perfect to not cheat. Oh my God. No, I hate that line. Wow. I, I load. Load that. Ladies, wow. if a man tells you I'm not perfect as an apology, go. Do me a favor, please. Go. Get out of here. Get out of the whole situation. Get out of here. You I feel hate, what I'm saying? I hate, hate it, bro. But yeah, he did that apology. He got his wife and kids. So shout out to him, Chet. You keep your family together. More power to you, my brother. Facts. Um, that's the main thing. And, you know, we're, we stand a forgiving heart. Shout out to, what's her name? Some Anika or... An, 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 I feel an, like she said an, it's a similar name. I don't want to say um, Nicki an, Minaj. Do you know what's crazy in Yoruba? What does her name mean? Oh my No, gosh. no, no. This is important. You must what's say her, But what's her real name? I feel like we're <laughs> saying Nicki Minaj's name. Oh, please, 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 please. And that one is just playing with people's sexual offenders. But carry on. I don't even want to address that. No, we're not touching that topic. Because, you know. We're not. Eniko. Eniko. What do you have? I was going to say Enika. Uh, see, I told you. You're, the you're right. Okay, never. Mind. But yeah, shout out to shout out to them keeping it together. But he had the whole issue with um, was it the Oscars? Grammys. The Gram. No, it's the Oscars. It was the Oscars. Yeah. Academy. Yeah, the Academy. A- Academics. Where they told him he had to re-apologize, and he mm. said, "I already apologized, so I don't got to apologize." And it's like that's very not bright. Nope. If man them says, "I am still hurt." And you've apologized before, and I just want you to acknowledge this. And we've never made no face to face, no, because I can be hurt of some. Imagine this woman comes to me like, "Yo, it, I feel weird. Like I feel off. Like I know this happened last year, 
but I still feel weird. I'm sure men will acknowledge like, yo, I cheated, my bad. This is my fault. Sorry for 2004. Whatever the hell you <laughs> got to do to get her happy. So I don't, this is just the wrong place to stand your ground. Like you should have never apologized at all then. I think that like, there, are certain, there are certain look instances, at the apology. there are certain instances where, you know, people mess up in their uh, careers that have a public facing image. And, you know, anyone with a really good PR Which team... Which is needed. If you will, start making money, PR team... PR is very important. The, the reason why the problematic people that we all know that exist in the business still exist is likely two reasons. They either have a lot of bread to be able to pay people to shut up, or they have an amazing PR team that has a lot of bread to shut people up. So, either way, people are getting greased to shut their damn mouths. The problem is he didn't shut his mouth. I think that if he didn't say anything at all, didn't address it, I think it would have blown over. But I think that if it was going to be addressed, he should have had his PR team address it. Because I have seen Kevin address this issue in the past and he's apologized for it, da 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 What he didn't do that he should have done is deleted the tweets. By now, right? Like, Correct. Just get that shit out there. Um, yeah, so that's the thing he didn't do. Yeah, he's standing his ground in all the wrong places. Standing your ground in 2018 when you uh, have a history of saying um, controversial things. Even, like, it's tough now for anyone that makes entertainment that has any sort of uh, disparaging or controversial remarks in them. It's a very tough time to be an entertainer that um, has a history of delivering that content or um, actively makes content that... uh, is could deem problematic so you know it's him leaving the tweets up there is bound to happen so i mean that's really my take on that so he apologized it wasn't the apology everybody wanted so i understand why people are upset but i also do understand that he has apologized for that exact thing before and i don't think that is necessary to apologize for things more than once especially if you're sincere about it the first time um Either way, he was going to be flamed for whatever he did. So that's why I would have, if, you know, if I was his PR, I'd have been like, yo, let us handle it. Period. No. I just feel like, well, it's a PR nightmare. Whatever it's done it now. What's it's, done it's, is done. No, no. Now you live with your actions. He has flogged himself. He's making money regardless. What, he got the Nike deal. He has his movies and all that. Kudos to him. I enjoy seeing a black man make his money, but I just like... This Black, is, man, this is hey. Black man, get your money. Black man, get your money. So whatever that is, this is America. that's on him. Shout out to him. Make your money, whichever way. Obviously, you know something we don't. He getting paid. So kudos to you and yours. Swag. Um. So speak, 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 speaking of speaking of Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, there was a certain yes African artist yes that band speak on it that band speak on it. Uh, a very popular blogger in Nigeria, music blogger from the whole continent of Africa. The entire continent. The entire thing. Um, I didn't really see it. I just know that it happened because uh, my DMs were flooded with, hey, have you seen this? And Come and see you. Yeah, I've just, I'd written, I was Come really busy. and see. So I know you saw it though. Cause I definitely saw it. I was, um, I was a little late to the party, but I caught on. And um, the bands were live and it's just absolutely insane. Mm-hmm. Because the, um, the bands. What happened? What Meets the, the bands. bands. So I'm the bands. Gather around, children. <laughs> so it started with um, a young man who has a blog, who, you know, a, a prominent blog, pops music and all that, who says it's a little suspicious that David O's music video went from 15,000 to a million. Now, he said that, and someone's like, and the song is... Uh, and he also said the song is inaccurate as well. So whatever. David O, maybe a day or two later, hits him up. Well, public, like, puts his name at the end so the whole world can see. Says, if they burn you well... I'm paraphrasing, and I'm not interested in going back to the tweet. If they burn you well, and your papa, and even at your mama, show up in Nigeria, fuck it, show up in Africa and see. So man's just basically put it out there like you come to this whole continent it's on site farms 
I need you guys to know Africa is very big. Huge. Multiple time zones. Huge. Different language. Huge. Different culture. Different looks. Huge. Vibes upon vibes. Facts. And man said, from all of it, you are bad. And that just not any time of the year did this happen. End of the year, Christmas, December. This is when shit pops off. From the top to the bottom. Left, right, end of year, Africans turn up. Facts. Like, you could have a good year, a bad year, but New Year is coming, so we're in a good vibe. And that's just how it is back home. And man's bottom. The whole thing, no connecting flights. If your plane hovers over the motherland, jump out. He's all over. Does it? And that's crazy. Very, very, very problematic. Can you imagine if he's in Nigeria right now? Like, you have mad at mans for questioning your views and the song you make. I'll tell this to artists and creators. You put your baby out there, being your work, it's up for debates. You can make the greatest song. Like, you can make a song that make the blind man see and somebody be like, eh, that shit is trash. I will say that artists in general need... Artists in general, um, I will say that... Uh, a major uh, opportunity for uh, artists from the African space d- uh, is definitely to handle criticism better. Hey. The amount of criticism that the Drakes and the the, you know, the Post Malone, Fans. the Kodak Blacks, the they said Post Malone don't shower. They say that shit constantly. J- but it's, it's not, it's not Post, they Post, Post, Post Malone is showering in millions of dollars. They he don't talk care. about Beyonce's literacy. They talk about Jay Z having kids all over the place and how he carries himself. Beyonce just performed at one of the richest families in India's wedding. And they say she's trying to wedding. appropriate a culture. Like it does not. They are end. not worried about any of that. It does not end. But that's the thing. They've been in the game so long. They are trained. They have they're media trained well enough that they don't care. They will continue to stack bread, and you know, not worry about any sort of criticism that they receive facts so i i need my my challenge for all african artists is to handle criticism better and continue to put out great work that their critic the criticism won't even affect them friends in this age of content and engagements it's all a positive, bro. One person talk about you, it ends up on another person's timeline, another person checks you out. If your work is good, you want to be matter. talked about. Yeah. Good press, bad press, it's press. You just want to be talked You want to be given a chance for more people. Because there's still more ears and eyes to hear and see your work. Yeah. You know? There's always going to be an opportunity for, you know, all artists to create and be well-received and even to create and not be well-received. But at the end of the day, they're still going to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to stop a bag. It's not, you know what I'm saying? One person's tweet, one person's opinion, one person's, you know, negative review is not going to stop a bag from no coming. No bag. And especially, like, a blogger, they're supposed to give opinions yeah. on music. So it was just ugly to see. Hopefully, you know, we get a tweet where it's like, oh, everybody's good. Because it's not the first time David has thrown someone on Twitter. It's just not kosher. Yeah. You know? the- they all do it because I, I know... Um, Ayo did it. Um, Whisker did it at some point when the whole him and his child and his baby mom. Oh, spent. and Linda KG. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot. So I just don't, you know, I get that you want to let people know that don't play with me, but just stack this bread. You signed up for entertainment. Focus on your stack this bread. bread with a capital W. Bread. Get your bread. But nah, that's, that's, that was wild. Get let man's, I beg, David Doe, let man's, and, and there is like a responsibility with having a following. You can't make threats because somebody might just try to show up, show up for you to show that they fuck with you. You know, like you could have nothing to do with it, but in some way you're still responsible for it. <laughs> so that's, um, that's how I feel on that. Shame, shame on, shame on man's for taking that route, but it is what it is. But back to this beautiful country that's run by your president. Who's president? Your president. First of all, he's closer to you than me. What? <laughs> Say that ticket. He's closer to you than me. I, I heard 10 minutes from your house. There's Ten? a Trump golf course. Wow. 
I heard. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong right now. Wow. I apologize. That's what we're doing? No, tell me I'm wrong. <sighs> 10 minutes. Trump golf course. Yo, I can't believe that you're really... I heard he shut down all the windmills so his hair don't fly around your house. <laughs> if it's a lie, tell me I'm lying. Trust. That's not nice. No? You're Truth gonna, or truth? You're, you're going to put me on blast like Truth that? Truth or truth? That's so crazy. <laughs> you brought it up, Abby. Anytime Bible truth talks about Connecticut. True. So, wow. you, know, you always make it seem like it's a crime for me to be from Connecticut. No. So what does Trump having a golf course remotely close to my house have anything to do with anything? It's your affiliation. I don't know. I'm not affiliated with him because he has a how golf course. Like, how do you feel about Russia? I don't. You don't. Oh, so you can't answer the question. I don't, I don't you know, feel Answer anything. the question. Do you like Russia or do you so not like So the Russia? reason why I don't feel anything about that question is because I like living and, you know, those those uh, individuals from certain countries have ways of getting people to, you know. Oh, I They have ways know. of getting their dissidents. I wouldn't out of know pain. anything about this. Correct. Do you so, know why? Why? Because I don't live by a golf course. Wow. Just, it's just, come on fast. Come on facts. This is why. You guys know the facts. This is why you got to know your friends, y'all. You got to, so, you know. It'd be your, it'd be your how close is your house to a golf course well, look, made by all, Flappy Head? First of all, not my house. Wow, we are disowning family. <laughs> <laughs> we are disowning. I don't live there anymore. We are disowning. Do you have dirty laundry in that home? That is not important. Oh. So why are you doing this wow, to me? Wow, I feel like I'm why? interviewing why? Bill Clinton wow. during the Monica Lewinsky. Wow. I, I do not, not have dirty. any jalof relations. Oh, my word. With that golf course. No. <laughs> So I've probably driven by, uh, yeah, maybe, as maybe a, as a child a few times. Yeah, but if man's doing an election, Nigerian people will still be doing wedding in there because they love doing wedding at golf courses. This is a fact. I've hosted like a wedding at a golf course before. I'm just gonna accuse you of fake news. For that. I've hosted two weddings at a golf course. Wow, who's yeah. more? Wow, who's more affiliated with uh, the wig in chief? I was being paid. Oh, so, so that was Stormy Daniels. Oh, that was me. <laughs> what to do, Stormy Daniels? I bad job. Wow. That's what happened. You have become Stormy. Stormy. You are Stormy, Stormy Daniels. Daniels. Wow. So who's For your the money? So who's your lawyer? For the money. Who's your lawyer, Mike Abenati? Yay. Jesus. Yay. You are wow. playing rough They gave you play. Osh monies. You are playing rough play. How many Osh monies did they give you, sir? Listen, I want you to know Babalao in my village has Wi Fi. Oh. <laughs> News can be delivered very quick. Wi Fi. If you ever have my Babalao. Guys said his Babalao has Wi Fi. Oh my goodness. He basically Pass, just said his. Password to my His Baba Juju Lawa. doctor has Wi Fi. And the password to the network is Miracle Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Play with me. Yo, what is your problem? Hi. And he has the 5G. <laughs> the 5G. Of course, he has T-Mobile. 5G Wi-Fi. And no MTN. No, 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 no. We don't do MTN. My thing is, if all the all those people over there, they mm-hmm. haven't done anything about Trump. Daniel, who's, which people? There are people now. Mark Aguini. Mark <laughs> These my people. Yo, yo, wifi stuffs. <coughs> my, my, the, the wifi, the people that set up wifi. Yes. Uh-uh. The people that set up wifi thousands of years ago. <laughs> you see, this is why I tell people. I say, oh, Wi-Fi. I have Wi-Fi. I have Bluetooth. <laughs> I said, Our ancestors have been using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth were being made, yes. for thousands of years. We didn't, battery. We, didn't even, we didn't even talk about protocol. Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Oh, yeah, we we have Bluetooth 3.0. Our ancestors have had Bluetooth 7.0. Not within 300 feet or nothing like that. Ah, when the British and the Portuguese came to Nigeria, Trump. when they saw that we could just snap our fingers like this and make it rain, human beings were flying. Ah, they said, ah, you human, could... after three minutes, after seven p.m. free calls, human <laughs> beings were flying. <laughs> Man, didn't know. We have cellular networks. Ninth flight called Ifa. That's it. Gone. People were. British soldiers were taking stroll at times. Man, them were on flights. Man. To the Suya spots. This is, this is so funny, but also not at the no, same no, time. No, no, Somebody going to call us out. I need you to know it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Listen, it's a joke. It's a joke. Care, you will not be listening to that podcast again. No, yeah, they are yeah. talking about. We're, we're children of God. They are we know talking nothing. about black magic stuff. We know nothing of nothing else. Sorry, that. Auntie, we're not talking about any of that. Sorry. We didn't mean to say that to you. Oh, yeah, back to back to you, the golf course guy. Yeah. Did you own any Trump ties? 
Let's be honest. Powell, why are you doing this? Just right yes, now? no. We, we want to know. I personally do not own any. Oh, we're talking. Fa- you are this. You are just living oh. family members. I am saying I personally don't know oh. anyone connected to me by blood mm-hmm. that has ever endorsed or, or given money or given money to anything related to that enterprise. Okay. I'm hearing you. I am from the area of, but th- say it. I'm, I refuse. <laughs> you cannot. You cannot force me to say it. Oh shoot! Um, yeah, man. But no. <laughs> yeah, man. But no. <laughs> but no. <laughs> no. That's a, my, nobody wants to claim man's. And then his lawyer got arrested today. Yeah, Michael Cohen. Yes, got a cool three years. Three donkey years in prison for three lying. Years. And but aiding and abetting individual Juan. They say if he snitch some more, he gonna get less days. Yo, you know what's the cr- the funniest me, shit is that they could not be me. I'll point niggas out like he can't, master. but he can't point nobody like, else out. Everybody he would point out has already been implicated. Bro, so I'm telling you else how they jaywalk <laughs> when they saw the Russians. Niggas was they were excited. They even went for a walk sign. He used to make his paninis with an iron. Fams, the whole team. He, you, I, I'm telling you, he used to make his paninis. I went to his house. We walked in the same time. The kitchen lights was already on. He's wasting gas. He used to put his knife in the peanut butter and also in the jelly. He this. does not respect anybody. I am snitching. I am snitching. I'm talking about Donald Trump's tan beds, all that. We getting people out of here. Let me tell you. It could not be me. I need y'all to, I say this all the time. Let Do me not just tell commit you. no crime around me. I am not going to jail for nobody. When his people would buy soda, mm-hmm. he would uncap the soda and make sure it was flat before putting it back in the fridge. The Get man the, is a monster. We need more time in jail for this. The man, man is a monster. Nah, Cohen, he needs to be dealt I with. I could not be Cohen B. Everybody would be gone. Everybody. <laughs> but I'm pointing <laughs> him, point him out. Oh, He's going to he's going to be dealt with. When I'm true with you, <laughs> when I'm true with you, oh, that's what the justice system just did to Michael Cohen, and I feel like more people will be next. But we shall stand back and watch the show. Yeah, we're just here to enjoy. But I still feel like everybody gonna get par- pardoned. Uh, he gonna flex that, like I told you. Depends. I told you we're untouchable. We will be watching the Supreme Court like this. We're untouchable. And then he got one more judge in there. We de- they definitely untouchable. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yo, we covered a lot in this episode. Now nah, we did. We did. I'm getting my music ready. Ah, for the song of the week. Getting, I'm using, a, I'm picking a Ninja Jamaican rapper. Ninja Jamaica. You know what I mean? Wow. I got you. Ninja and Jamaica. I am picking... A Ninja Jamaican rapper. That was interesting. I have a, I had a lot of options. What were your options? But um, I'm picking that. We're gonna start with that next week, next next episode. I'm gonna pick. I have <laughs> I have hits, pun hits. I guess what's on the side of this hits? It's more hits. Oh, <laughs> big up! I'm proud of you. Big up the more hits crew. More hits crew. Whenever you are ready. Already, you, you and do you remember? Wow, now you're hmm. When uh-huh. I sing, now you say I've started. How do you remember? When I sing, you say I've started. Me. Ah, what's that? <laughs> you sound like a dying goat. Wow, you sound like a Pokemon. If you had a goat, you had a goat. What do you want me wow, the goat or a goat? He say goat. He say goat. He say goat. Shanna <laughs> is a goat. He say goat. <laughs> That's funny. So, do you have your song of the week ready? Ah, when you said you, when you said your song was ready. Oh no, I'm ready. Whenever you have. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Man's is not. We're not stressing it. Okay. Hits, like I said, pon the hits. I'm ready. With more heat. Um, I ready. have enough heat. I'm ready. To heat up the apartment. I'm ready. You dig it. I'm ready. You are ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, 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 ready. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, like I said, my song is by a Niger Jamaican rapper. Niger. Niger Jamaican. Man's is nice. But... Mans is really nice, like for real, for real. He's really nice. Um, he's in Cali right now. He's originally from the Bronx. 
Pops is Nigerian. Mom's is Jamaican. Wow. You know what I mean? The mix is there. It's there. And that, those are the two um, town criers. Guy, you don't like to talk in the mic. I've noticed No, that. those are the two. I'm just saying. I'm looking. I had to look at you when I say this because Nigerians like to talk a lot of shit. And then Jamaicans like to talk a lot of shit. Oh, so it's just, it's just a big poot. No, skin. it's like a whole bunch of shit talking. It's poo stuffs. Exactly. Wow. A lot of poo. There's a few. Like, I'm trying to figure out. The man's got hits. Man's got rap. He's, he's like really nice. Work. I'm trusting you. Okay. So I'm just going, I'm going to pick the most recent song. Pick it. It's called We All Sin Here. Okay, let's do it. Dropped two days before my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. August 22nd. Hmm. Happy birthday. Uh-huh. <coughs> Men's is nice. Men's is nice with it. But yeah, it's called We All Sin Here. Let's do it. Uh, this is the song. I've gotten the green lights from the artist. How do you pronounce his name? Dolly. Dolly. Oh gosh, you have to, you have to, you have to catch. I don't. You have to. Are you ready? I'm ready. Should I play it? Play the thing. Dolly. I'm just trying to survive My days are raining too I share my pain with you Just to find some peace And some happiness to make it through I hope some sunshine's on the outside Cause darkness it falls in here I hope some sunshine's on the outside Darkness, it falls in here If we don't make it out Then we gon' fall in here We all been here And prayers to the sky But we all sin here so, That was a fire record I'm telling you, it was nice There's more heat I like it Heat to the left What's the name again? To the right We all sin here That's the name of the song Oh, Dolly See now The, the last name mm. I don't want is it, the Nigerian, is it Nigerian accent. No, it's not. He's Nigerian, but the name is not Nigerian at all. Got it. So that's not his real name. No, that's not his first name, last name. Got it. Okay. I'm not going to. You want me to give No, 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 no. We don't know. Yeah. We don't need to. I don't want, uh, I don't want, want the road say, man. Oluwa. Ah, wow. <laughs> Obalinde Johnson. <laughs> I don't need <laughs> you to say his name. Nah, but for real, for real. Yeah, I got to check the man's out. Nigerian, Jamaican. If you're nice, you're nice. No matter what it is. Facts. He just like, happens um, to be our people. Right. He happens to be our people. Shout outs to my youth them. And um yeah, he does dope shit out there. Shout so outs to like, my youth them Brooks, oh, innit? Yeah. Oh, and he's been to England. I think he has a song with a British act somewhere I was bumping earlier. So basically, he's a road man. Oh wow. You just gave him a title. You gave my job description. Road man. If I can't have you, nobody hey, can. Hey, bare face so they all know who I am. If you see what the skin done to a man. Huh? Shout- Man's are still not free. I thought he was free. No, I thought so too, but he's coming home next year. Jesus. What next year? Should I, I? I would love to give you a date. So basically, what I'm going to do, eh, because they told me, they, I cannot tell you who they are, but you must ask DJ Khaled. He'll tell you. Okay. They told mm-hmm. me uh-huh. that he was out. Really? So there's one of two options. Either he's out mm-hmm. and they are saying he's not to or protect he's in. to protect him. Or he's in, and people are stupid, and they told us fraudulent news. I've been hearing both. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's true, but I don't see why he's out and he's in. So what you I would I mean? do? Because we haven't seen any picture outside. Oh, you are right, but pictures are not everything. She be doing way that he Gabriel Union. They bought her the baby. There were no pictures before then. They don't no, no. deliver baby. I get Hello, that. But baby time. I get that, but man's is brand. He's growing, fams. Fam. Content. Content is king. I am agree. So we'll see. I am in agreement. If, with if you. you are free, we're waiting for more music and we're wishing you, you know, mentally and spiritually and physically and financially stability. Mm. All of that stability, we're wishing it to you. Yes. But um, if not, you know, keep your head up and don't um, don't act like a rainbow people. Please, J House, stay up. Don't don't walk around with anybody that may carry a knife with them. Please. Or, or walk around with people that are carrying knives so you don't carry a knife. You know, whichever. Facts. Please, just carry carry bodyguard with license to carry whatever you want. Please, just do that for us. 
If you don't carry it, somebody can. Dun, dun, dun. Put the knife. J five. Put the knife. They, and, they, and they be carrying those little pouches they have. Put put the knife in the pouch. Put the knife in the pouch and pass it all around. Wow, you just made Sorry. that song up. That's not even a real song. So, yeah, put I'm the lime in the cocoa. Wow. What? You forgot about... Yeah, no, 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 you're forgot right. forgot about Tiger's... I'm sorry. Tiger's yes. heat, a busy tiger. I didn't forget. It's Tiger. He's just not, you know... The daddy China. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Daddy or more China. There you go. Thank you. Please yes. correct yourself. Well, I'm sure she called him daddy at one point. Disgusting. You're a That's gross, you're a gross a person. It's just, I want you to know. If nobody has it's told a, you before, it's a thing. It's a you are thing. disgusting somebody. Has she left Nigeria with her bleaching you are disgusting. articles? I don't know. I don't care of people okay. like that. If she wants to bleach her mind, I don't care. It's been. That's, that happened. She, wow, she's a babe to you. Oh. I said it's been. Oh, she's sorry. Been bleached. I beg, please. Sorry, I don't, I don't want, want to implicate you. I went to China. I have all the China <laughs> I need in my life. I don't want. You are the real China. No, no, no. You are the blackest China. China. No, I was in black market. Wow, so the blackest China. Where do Wow. Blackest. Wow. Where do I'm proud stop. of you. I'm proud of you. You won't stop. I it's can't okay. stop. I won't stop. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Harlem Shake. Bad boy, baby. Uncle Didi. Yes. Speaking Where's of, your song? Oh, speaking of Uncle Didi. Yes. Rest in peace, Kim Oh, Ora. yes, 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 yes. Where's oh, his, his, that news pain me. of his children. That news pain me small. Yeah, I had no connection to her. I'm not going to lie to you whatsoever, but a lot of people were hurt by it, and it says a lot about her character. It pain me small. I've only met her one time, so okay. I cannot say we are very close, but I will say that without her influence, a lot of people that are reigning in bad boy classics would not have existed. She paved the way for a lot of people to have careers. I will say that. She is a very integral member of the bad boy crew. Um, And, you know, through her uh, her, uh, contributions to the label, you know, she obviously got very close with Diddy and uh, they were able to connect and start a family and do all that wonderful stuff. So, um, my heart goes out to the kids, especially Christian, because I can only Im- I can't even imagine what the kids are going through right now. But um, the funeral was uh, the funeral was definitely attended by the who's who. Mm-hmm, I saw there was controversy over certain people that were there. That th- some people felt like they were just starting to chase clout, take pictures, whatever. But I'm sure you know. you know we're in that place now, but I at the end of the day, we just gotta rest and like you know, be there for the person, yeah, whoever so is. And I'm is happy and everybody showed up. You know, Facts. everybody that was meant to be there showed up. So that's the bright side. Also, back to people free or not free. Uh, Buju, Buju, Buju is free. Shout to him. Uh. Obviously, I feel like he should just relax and enjoy his family. I know everyone's asking for music ASAP, but I don't. That's another thing I don't understand. I feel like f- fans are some of the most entitled d individuals. They are. They really are. Somebody could get into a very nasty situation, recover, and the first thing that will come out of a fan's mouth, oh yeah, now produce us some music. Arms. Ah. Oh, you just lost a family member, or you gonna make some fire shit. That's crazy. It's it wild. Makes no sense. I've literally seen people tweet shit like that. It's like somebody announces, "Yeah, this terrible thing happened to me," and I'd like some time to, you know, focus on myself and healing and da da da. And then hey, here you go. Here comes one fan. Does that mean you're not gonna put out a project? Does that mean why can't you drop some heat? Why can't you give us some fire? You know, why can't you just like give us a bar or something so we can like not starve to death because we don't have. Like millions of other songs we can listen to while we wait for you to come back. Pams, you could drop something six months ago and it rains tomorrow. People aren't giving it. Like, yo, you know, it'd be fire right now. Like, let people live life. Creative process is different for every single person. How one person creates and how another person creates is just two different things. And the amount of content people put into their work should be respected. If somebody's putting a whole lot of work out there, then you got to just respect the fact that it might take him more time to, you know, put something out there. Facts. I don't get it. And there's just so much work, music out. Why are you disturbing so somebody? Much. There's so much that we haven't even listened to. I'm not going to be out here disturbing for new music when I can barely keep up with what's going on now. You know? It's definitely a thing. Uh, yeah. I, my entire day is spent listening to music, so you can imagine. My Yeah, sometimes they're just like, wow, this artist just dropped a song. Wow. 
They just dropped another one. It hasn't even been 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, wow! Yeah, it hasn't even been two hours since the last release. Picks. They're already saying who it's based for. It hasn't it's even been 24 hours since they dropped the last song. They have dropped another one. Wow. I'm proud of them. It's happening across the board. So it's really interesting. I mean, these artists need to do better too because they're not giving the fans any time to digest the music. And that's how you become forgettable. When fans can't even, there's no shelf life for your records. So you're just putting shit out to stay relevant. Like Beyonce and Jay-Z could disappear for two years if they want and drop something like randomly. A long time. And tore off of two songs every two years if they wanted to. Fedax. You know? But they've built that. They've built that by you know, creating quality content for the fans of their careers and not just dropping shit because they, whatever, because it's Tuesday, you know? So, well, I hope they figure it out, Shaq, because there's a lot of uh, interesting the, things happening. All the love, luck, and everything needed. For them it's it's going to be an interesting that. 2019. What are your holiday plans, by the way? I It's already cold outside. I'm already tired of everything. But um, on the 29th, I'm going to do a coat drive. On the 23rd, we're going to be at um, Paris's show. Because, um, you know, everybody's going. So, But those that are out here, we're going to have some fun. So I think those are the two things. 23rd, Paris's show. And 29th, the co-driver, Festac. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. And my voice is cracking. I think my name should be in there for King of R&B. That is what, wow. You feel me? That's what you get Girl. for making fun of me earlier when I was doing Girl. auntie. I got that voice. But you were doing oh, yes! the crack. Yeah, see, you were doing the crack. I have the sexy R and B voice right now. I, I want to take this time out. I want to take this time out. Talk to the ladies. Ladies, wow. I know you hear me. I'm here for you. In the world, it's cold where outside. Powell thinks he's a ladies, you man. Know? Ladies. One never, man. Ever. Wow. Think that I'm not here for you, right? Wow. I'm here for you, girl. You literally sound like every R and B song that came on the 80s. You know what I'm saying? I cry for you. I followed you all the way from the mall. But when we got to the house, I was like, nah, that's not all. I'm going to look outside the window for your spouse. And baby girl, I want you to know if it goes down, you my heart. You my heart, baby girl. I take all 20 of them kids we got and we raise them. Just raise them on the farm. Let's get away, mm. get away from wow, silly wow, wow. life. Mm. Cause I know you're gonna be treating you mm. strife. Mm. Baby, baby. This girl. is hilarious. Okay, that's oh. all. I closed my eyes when I sang to you, babe. You did. I want y'all to know that. That's what I'm here for. Not even any instruments, just finger snaps. Yeah, this is the kind of shit you record on a answer machine. Fact. Or you throw a rock out a window and sing to your girl. See, but the thing is, though, throwing rocks at windows is dangerous because if you throw the wrong type of rock, that window's gone. Oh, no, you have to put throw with love. If when there's love, you don't crack window. If you're going to cheat on the babe, the window cracks. Wow. It's a sign. Wow, you're right. Sign the babe, no. Or you should probably just not throw rocks at windows. Nah, we throw rocks at windows. You could Fellas, throw, throw rocks at windows. <laughs> we bring it back. <laughs> we throw rocks at windows. We bring the rocks at windows back. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. If she got a window, a rock needs to be lined on it. Wow, is that code? Why text? Why text when you could rock a window? Is that code? Rock her window. Wow. Rock it. Is that code? Yeah, yeah. We getting your attention. <laughs> Rock your window. Excuse no me, babe. More, no more text messages, you know what I mean? Babe. Oh, yeah, we crazy like the joint you cheating with. You wow. got to go to the a rock and window so they are no, with no text crazy. threads. The joint you're cheating with sounds crazy, yeah. especially when you're not cheating on any joint. No, we're children of God. We don't do things as such. Oh, wow, wow, But I'm trying wow. to see the rock on the window. What would be a useful reason for throwing a rock at someone's window? Or trying to escape a bad situation. Or trying to bring somebody that has escaped a bad situation back Facts. into the bad situation. Also a fact. Oh my gosh. I know nothing of any of this. Nothing at all. I feel like I reject that energy for my life. Hey, Those man. Things. All right. It's time for your music. Oh, wow. This whole people? time. Farms, I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so the record. Hmm. Wow. I got those voices back. Oh, yes. And there you have it. Amen. Uh-huh, uh-huh. One more time. Emela. ho. Emela. And that's your song of the week. Emela. Yo, you know what? Chick-a-choo. 
Are you going to gospel it? Yo. You're going to gospel it. Oh. My song of the week, we have to bring Queen Agatha Moses. Say her name with love and power. Mama Agatha Moses. Moses. Sister A. Mm. Auntie Agatha. Auntie Agatha. Mommy Moses. If you don't know. Mommy Junior. If you don't know. She definitely gave birth to a junior. This is a fact. Yeah. Come and praise God. Part one. Not two. Not two. Part one. Part one. Part two was cool. It was a lot of claps. You know, the signature claps. It's not one. It was the part two was a filler. One more time. I said. Eh? What are they? Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Bigger than what? Bigger what? Buzz. Bigger. Uh-huh. I, you just see the shoulder just shaking. Oh, the beat drop. The beat has dropped. Where's your rapper? The beat has dropped. Let's dance. Hey. Drop Guinness on top table. Hey, you are did you hear the you are worthy? Yeah, come on, bro. Vibes existed here before vibes. Oh, oh, best of. She dropped the best of in part one. You think it's Travis Scott and Drake that are switching flows? Come and see Sister Agatha. That's a beautiful choice. That's what we. T- I think we will never have a wider range of music choice. We go from, we we'll go from a Jamaican Nigerian rapper to Sister Agatha Moses. Dolly, good luck, good luck to you. You might have to drop a gospel song next. It's only right. But yes, appreciate your choice. Thank you for bringing us back to church. It was the only way to end it, yeah. You ended it perfectly. Was it center at the end of the day? The chakra and the chi are in the right place. Mm. All the feng shui is fun again. So we talked about ratchet things. We talked about politics. You you did. I, I spoke of no such thing. We time. talked about Jesus. We talked about Jalof. It sounds like a complete episode. <laughs> Jesus and Jalof. Shout, Shout out to, to Lovey. Shout, Shout out to Lovey. And our, I, I think... Lovey just got proposed to, so congrats to her. Congrats to Lovey no on her engagement. And Yvonne, I feel like she just announced something dope. Mm. I think she got like a book, announced a book or some shit like Wonderful that. Wonderful stuff. They, those ladies are working, man. God They're out them. here. They're, it's so beautiful. To also be in the motherland for the holidays. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I enjoying. Yep, she has a book deal. Oh, that's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. Good for her. Wow. I wish her all... What? You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know how much to wish Wait, her. Wait, what? Go back. The actress and comedian signed with Flatiron Books, which will publish her faith-based advice book, Bamboozled by Jesus. Yes. Wow. My, she, they have titles for days. Your titles. The both of them, titles for... Well, she's Igbo. That's a they fact. They like titles. That's a fact. We know that. I'm proud of both of those ladies, man. Just putting on for everybody in diaspora. Just showing the world that you can be Africa and be yourself and still be creative. Oh, wow. She's definitely going to be in Lagos. You see? So, yeah. 
Lagos in December is, I'm telling you, that shit is, is just a thing. It's a thing. It's going to be a thing. But um, congrats to both those ladies, the Jesus and Jalof ladies. I know we wanted to give them a shout out this episode. Thanks for bringing it back. Facts. Um, they're doing their thing. I think they had live shows recently. Mm. I will soon come. Yeah. So we appreciate them for, you know, continuing to pave and Absolutely. break boundaries. Absolutely. Shout outs to the both of y'all. Shout outs to them. So... I think uh, we've covered pretty much everything. So, as it's, yo, enjoy your those traveling. Get back safe. Be safe. You know, don't don't lose a body parts in the market. Yeah, please don't. Other than that, be safe. Stay away from Babalaos with Wi-Fi. Wow, wow. Stay away from Babalaos with followers on social media. Since me ganja. Yeah, we should have played a dream song. <laughs> we. We should remix a dream song since we can't play. We should just start remixing songs we can't play. I agree with you. And our final shout out. I think we gave them a little shout out to the tidbit. But give that give the final shout out, Satunde. We definitely wanted to make sure that our fans have access to support us. There's a lot of people that hit us up all the time and say, Yeah, how can we support you guys? And, um, you know, what can we do to show y'all love and support in various ways? So what we did is we set up a Patreon page, which is a place where you guys can, you know, support. You can become patrons and support us as we produce these episodes every week, two weeks, month, whatever the case may be. Um, When we start doing our live events, these will go towards... Um, the feeds that are associated with that as well. So if you'd like to support us as a community, feel free to join us on our Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash Noahala. Again, that's patreon.com slash Noahala. We'll put the link in um, the description for sure so you guys to support, but definitely, definitely, definitely would love um, any sort of support from you guys. We'll put some goals up there so you guys can um, get, stuff from us too we'll definitely put some up there so that we can give it back to y'all as well but we appreciate all of y'all for supporting us this far and uh we can't wait to continue bringing you the fire content so that's that my people no goodbye goodbye to you and so i'm, I'm going to say good night that, that has to, this is our closing song all time now i'm not sure anymore, anymore. More. Who is knocking on my door? All the faces that I know. I didn't want to say goodbye <laughs> to you. And I think today is his birthday, too. Who? The person singing in that song. Most Def? Yeah. Today's Most Def's birthday? I think it's today or yesterday, yeah. I'd be bad today to you. I'd be bad today to you. Happy birthday, uh-huh. Yasi. Happy birthday to you. You are not my own day, but you are Yasin Bay. You are not my own day. Yeah, December 11. Wow. We're a day late. Happy birthday, day Yasin Bay. Uh-huh. Happy birthday. To you, Ooh. come on, see synchronization, synchronizing, synchronization, synchronization. Syn- wow, synchro. Hey, shout out, DJ Synchro. Pow. Yes, that's it. See you guys next time. This is episode twenty nine. Oh, coffee good. <laughs> Peace, y'all.